Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, happy to see you here. Today I've got something exciting for you. We are divining into a cool algebra problem that's going to make you see math in a whole new way. Stick around as I break it down step by step and trust me, you'll be amazed at how simple it can get. If you love a good challenge or just want to sharpen your skills, this one's for you. So grab a pen, hit that play button and let's solve it together. Oh, and don't forget to drop a comment below, tell me what you think or share your own way of tackling it. Let's get started. Here in the middle of the screen we have our, our question. So 12 divided by 2 times 3 and we divide all of this stuff by 2. On the right side right here we have 4 options. Option A, Option B, so Option A we have 1, Option B we have 4, Option C we have 9 and Option D we have 36. So here's our question, here's our option. So what is the correct answer right now? Let's try to figure out what is the correct answer to this question. But first of all, I'm going to show you this next really important step, because there are three types of students, three groups of students. The first group of students say, okay, here's our question, so you can easily, you can easily see it. They say, okay, for example, we need to multiply right here 2 times 3 at first. So as a result, we have, we have 6, yeah? And from here we have 12, so as a result, we have 12 divided by this 6 on the right side, so 12 divided by 6, and we need to divide it by, by 2. So as a result, what do we have? We have 12 divided by 6 equal to 2, and we divide this uh, 2 by this 2, so as a result, we have we have 1. So we have this option, this is option A. So one part of students say that correct answer is is A. So let me just erase all of this stuff and I'm going to show you the second approach. The second ap approach is the next one. So another part of students say, okay, right here we need to divide 12 divided by 2 at first. As a result, what do we have? 12 divided by 2 equal to equal to 6. The next thing we have this multiplication by 3, so 6 times 3, and we divide all of this stuff by 2. As a result, what do we have? 6 times 3 equal to 18, and we divide all of this stuff by 2. So we have right here our our 9. Now let's see. Yeah, we have this option. This is option C. We have we have 9. And there's like the third group of students, the third part of student. They say, okay, maybe we can cancel. We have 2 in our numerator. We have 2 in our denominator. So maybe we can cancel this 2 real quick. And as a result, we have 12. We have times 3. We have it looks like 36. And we have this option. This is option D. But uh, here's the confusing part, because in terms of math, just agree with me, we can't solve our question with, with a different answer. We can't say, okay, here's our answer, for example, 1 and uh, dot right here, and we have 9. So to complete the different answer, it's really weird to think in terms of math. Uh, the correct way to solve this question is to say, okay, 100%, correct answer is, for example, like uh, 1, 9, or 4, or whatever, or 36. So we can easily say the correct answer is is one, one option, not like two options. We can say that option A is a correct answer, option C and option D. So we need to know about a really important algorithm. Where can we say that, okay, according to this algorithm, according to this math algorithm, correct answer is uh, B, C, D or A. I don't know exactly, but right now let's try to figure out about a correct order of operation because what I, did, what I said before, uh, obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So when we multiply two times three at first, we have one answer. When we uh, when we multi divide 12 divided by 2, we have completely different answer. When we cancel these two and these two, we have absolutely different answer. And in terms of math, here's our question. What is the correct order of order of operation? And when we know the correct order, we can easily say, okay, this order is correct and this answer is absolutely correct. Okay, let's go back to our question in the beginning. Just keep in mind that we right now we are confusing about it. We don't know what is the correct answer. And right now we're going to show you the thing which is called order of operation. Operation. Here we can see it. This is like a quick checklist. So here is our order of operation, PEMDAS order of operation. Maybe a lot of students like know about about bot mass, uh, which is like absolutely the same thing. We are talking about mm, different letters. We letter B stands for brackets, which is absolutely the same as parentheses. We are talking about group and symbols. Yeah. So it just depending on what country you, you live in. Yeah. So we are talking about the same order of operation. So let me just use this PEMDAS, which is like the most popular order in the world with bot mass. Yeah. More bot mass mainly used in. India and the UK, PEMDAS, mainly used in Europe, in USA, yeah? So we're talking about this PEMDAS order of operation, a classic order of operation. 
Okay, so first of all, we are talking about letters. So this letter stands for something. For example, letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about this type of brackets, squiggly brackets. We are talking about this type of brackets. And sometimes fraction bar is also a, not like parentheses, but a group and symbol because letter P stands for parentheses, which is like a group and symbols. Yes, we are talking about this is our group and symbol, this is group and symbol. And sometimes fraction bar is also a group and symbol when we have it, okay, obviously. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step after parentheses is e, e stands for exponents, but this is the same thing as powers. For example, when we have 2 to the power 3, like 5 to the power 10, or something like that, we are talking about basic stuff, we are talking about these, these powers, 10, 3, or whatever, like can be huge powers, so we are talking about this, this stuff. So in terms of, uh, I'm talking about priority, yeah? I'm, talking, I'm going from left to right because of priorities, yeah? So from this side, we have a higher priority than on the on the right side. Okay, we have right here our line. So we're talking about parentheses has the highest priority. So the first step we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. And the next step we're going to E. E stands for exponents. So after parentheses, we need to evaluate all the stuff with exponents. Yeah. And after E, we go on to the next step. The next step is multiplication. M stands for multiplication. And a lot of students are confused about it because they say, okay right here we need to we need to multiply it first but uh, this is one common group multiplication and division this is one common group don't be scared about it this is one group so what i mean right now in terms of like group we are talking about a thing which is called like orders of oper order of operation when we have a mixture of multiplication and division. And what do we need to do when we have a mixture of multiplication and division? Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform it in order from left to right. So multiplication and division in terms of this PEMDAS have the same priority, okay? So we are talking about the next thing. When we have two, for example, times five divided by three, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. In this case, the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to multiply multiply at first, okay? As a result, we have right here 2 times 5, we have 10 divided by 3. I don't want it to divide it because this is very basic stuff and we don't need it exactly. I just wanted to show you here a quick example, yeah? But when we have a different thing, when we have, for example, 2 uh, divided by 2 and times 3 or so something like that where we have like division first then multiplication well we need to do it from left to right and in this case the first sign from left to right is this division so as a result right here we need to divide at first so we just need to keep in mind that we are here we have like imaginary brackets okay from left to right whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division and only that so not like exponents addition subtraction parentheses whenever we have a mixture we need to keep in mind this quick parentheses in your head and yeah? don't put it like that so in your head that we need to multiply it first right here we have division first so just put your brackets in, in your head just keep in mind that we need to divide it first and as a result we have two divided by two equal to one and times three so here's a quick example when we have like a mixture of multiplication and division and the last step is addition subtraction a stands for addition s stands for subtraction this is also one group but in this point you don't need this order of operation because we are talking about basic stuff we can easily do that without any order of operation so it was like a quick explanation about this PEMDAS order of operation and right now we can easily say okay here's our order of operation let's apply this order of operation to our question all right let's do this right now so first of all as i told before we need to scan it from left to, uh, to right but let me just erase all of this stuff we are talking about the same PEMDAS so we really need this really need this stuff right here and as i told before we're talking about priorities right now let's go from left to right order and let's scan in terms of like elements that we have in our question right so first of all letter p stands for parentheses let's scan our question in terms of like parentheses let's do this i don't see any of those we don't have any parentheses but with one really interesting moment yeah we don't have parentheses right here like that we don't have these squiggly brackets we don't have these uh, brackets but we have this thing as i told before this is our fraction bar so fraction bar is a group and symbol okay so we are talking about we group it we divide it we divide our numerator by the denominator so we grouped uh, like with imaginary uh, brackets so we group it with imaginary brackets we need to group of a numerator and we need to divide it by them by the denominator so right now let's let's put these imaginary brackets okay these are only brackets in our head okay we're talking about these brackets imaginary brackets and we're talking about these brackets so we need to group our numerator we need to divide our numerator by the by the whole denominator so obviously we have looks like parentheses we, we don't have parentheses as it looks like that okay but we have group and symbol we have a fraction bar okay so right now we group it 
okay so basically we need to solve our um, we need to simplify our expression in our numerator and we need to divide it by the whole the numerator okay so just keep in mind that after parentheses we need to go to the next step the next step is exponent but to be honest we don't have any of those we don't have any exponents like cubes right here force power we don't have this stuff like right here so we need to cancel our exponent we don't have it right now as i told before we have a multiplication and division part and to be honest we have this part in our numerator because actually we can get rid of these parentheses imaginary parentheses in our denominator because this is only two so we can't like simplify this more this is two and it looks like that yeah so as a result we have two and we need to write our numerator and just keep in mind this imaginary parentheses so we have 12 divided by 2 and times times 3 all right so here is after first two steps here after parenthesis part here's our expression and right now if you look closely uh, when we look closely at multiplication and division group right here also like a uh, group and thimble we're talking about a mixture in our numerator so we need to uh, we need to, to say in simple words we need to uh, simplify our numerator and we need to divide it by the whole denominator but don't jump don't cancel with with the group and thimble so we need to group we need to simplify our numerator and we need to divide it by the whole denominator so right now 12 divided divided by 2 times 3 and I had the same thing before whenever we have a mixture of division and multiplication like that so here's our exactly the same example but with different numbers yeah whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform it from left to right okay so we are talking about uh, the thimble when we're talking about like when we go from left to right we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right and here's our uh, here's our line so we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right the first sign from left to right is this division so we need to divide at first 12 divided by 2. here's our quick six right here we have six and we still need to uh, multiply it by three so we still have this three and don't forget about this imaginary imaginary brackets okay because we need to uh, simplify our expression in our numerator and we need to divide it by them by the denominator in terms of denominator we don't need these brackets because this is only two so it's this looks like that with brackets or without brackets we have only two and right now six six times three equal to 6 times 3 equal to 18 yeah 18 and we divide it by 2 and here's our here's our 9 so saying in simply words right here we have multiplication we have division we don't have addition we don't have subtraction so first of all we have a group and thimble we have a numerator and a numerator the first thing we need to split it by a numerator and a numerator we need to evaluate the expression in our numerator and we need to divide it by the our denominator in numerator we have a mixture of multiplication and division here we can say it so we can easily do this in a strict order in a strict order from left to right so it looks like our correct answer is our correct answer is nine so let's go in the beginning i'm going to show you a few really interesting really interesting moment so just keep in mind that our nine is a correct a correct answer and obviously we have this we have this answer this is our option c and we have this we have this answer but right now i'm going to show you few, i'm going to say a few words about other options why another options are incorrect as i told before in the beginning i show you a really interesting tricky move i show you okay let's for example do multiplication first with multiplication first we will have like 12 divided by 2 times 6 equal uh, 2 times 3 equal to 6 and we divide it by 2 so as a result we have 12 divided by 6 equal to 2 and we divide it by 2 equal to equal to 1 so on the first side everything is great but if you look closely okay we just do a wrong um, thing in our numerator we just multiply it first okay but in terms of like order of operation multiplication and division we are talking about basic stuff i'm not talking about implicit multiplication i'm talking about basic like a mixture of multiplication and division and whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform it from left to right this is a correct solution but with parentheses right here so let me just change my pen real quick with parentheses right here correct and answer is is one okay with parentheses correct answer is uh, correct answer is one so right here we can easily be happy about it with parentheses correct answer is one but in our case we don't have parentheses okay we have a basic stuff we have a basic expression so we need to go it in a strict order from left to right but with parentheses okay absolutely okay correct answer is i don't want to erase this i want to leave it like that because this is a very important moment with parentheses correct answer is one and i'm going to show you the second approach so um, in the beginning i wrote that correct answer is with 36 okay something like that so let me just uh, rewrite our expression so 12 divided by 2 times 3 here's our expression yeah and we divide all of this stuff by 2 and right now if you look closely in the beginning I said okay we can cancel these two okay we can cancel these two from here and these two and as a result we have 12 
time stream. Well, this is a wrong approach. Obviously, this is a wrong approach. You can't solve our question like that. You can't cancel it. You can do it uh, with, with multiplication sign, but not with, with division sign. So this is very bad, bad mistake. This mistake mm, I see a lot of times because people think that we can multiply it first, but this is looks like okay mistake because people, uh, students solve this question like that. And I say, okay, with parentheses, okay. And we explain it and we leave it like that. And people understand, students understand why correct answer is uh, not one with one is a correct answer with parentheses but this is like a, a great approach this very bad approach so 36 is not is not a correct answer so let me just erase all of this stuff and forget about this 36 one is a correct answer with parentheses okay when we have parentheses okay we can easily multiply two times three and as a result we have our one as a correct answer so one is a correct answer when we have when we have parentheses. So we know let's go in, in the beginning, we know everything, we know why uh, option A is incorrect answer, so mm, we know when option A will be correct answer, so when you choose option A as a correct answer, well, you need to review your basic math, because this is very bad, bad mistake in terms of math. This is obviously awful mistake when you say that correct answer is, is 36, this is like a very bad, big mistake, this is awful mistake when you say that correct answer is 36, so let me just erase all of this stuff, this is not 36. When you say correct answer is A, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is a correct answer with parentheses right here, okay? Without parentheses, as I told before, correct answer is, is 9. We solve it, we, I'll explain it a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I really hope you understand this stuff, I really hope you understand my explanation about it. So right now, real quick, to this order of operation, here you can see it, all explanation about this PEMDAS, and we scan our question in terms of these elements, in terms of this checklist. So we're talking about parentheses first, then exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Real quick, we cancel it. exponent, uh, addition, subtraction. We have only parentheses, we don't have it, like basically, physically, we don't have it, but we have a fraction bar, which is also like a group and symbol. So we need to group a number numerator, we need to divide it by the denominator. Complicated stuff we have in our numerator because we are talking about mixture of multiplication and division. So whenever you have a mixture of multiplication and division, well, you need to, you need to review your you need to review your basic math. So here's my explanation about this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope uh, you learn something new and let's go to this part. I want to say a few words about about this part because a lot of students say that we need to uh, the correct answer is one. Well, correct answer will be one when you will have parentheses right here. So just use brackets to immediately eliminate the ambiguity in this problem or use like vertical orientation where, for example, you can easily write it like that 12 divided by 2 times 3 and then you group, okay, and then you group it as 12 divided by 2 times 3. So in your head, you group it because fraction bar means group and group and symbol. So here's a quick, quick think about it. And the main rule, just try to be ambiguous about what you're trying to present, okay? If you wanted to divide this 12, this 12 by the whole product, you need to put a vertical orientation or parentheses, and then correct answer will be will be one. In our case, as I told before, we don't have it. We have a basically uh, the great uh, expression without any problems. We can easily go from left to right, we have right here first step, right here we have second step, and we divide in the end all of this stuff, we divide by two. So I really hope you understand it, I really hope you learn something new, I really hope you understand my explanation. You can also write your notes, write your question down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you for your time, wish you all the best in your life, see you in the next videos, and have a great day. Also write your thoughts about this question into the comment section, it will be really interesting to read about it. Wish you all the best in your life, have a great day, and see you in the next videos.